Hey guys and welcome to the next part of this let's play which uh, is uh, my least favorite part of the game because it's a underwater level and uh, by all gaming logic underwater levels suck and this one is not too bad but uh, yet yeah, just not very fun there's some extra life if you need it and these tiger sharks are the worst when they see you, they uh, oh, they hone in on you, and uh, it's not very nice. But yeah, to uh, get up, you have to rapidly tap the uh, up or jump button. I mean, and well, that gets really tiresome, and I don't like that mechanic at all. It, and it's just a very slow-paced level. Also, the music. Listen to the music. Yeah, it puts you to sleep. <laughs> Not the best piece of the game. Although I do admit it's fitting for the game, but uh, yeah, not my favorite uh, level in it entirely. Uh, over here there's something else, <laughs> which is... I'm just going to show this, but you know, normally I won't go for this, because it's kind of useless. Especially now, since I have full life. But there's uh, another candy bar. A healthy candy bar. Do they exist? Well, I guess. You got those uh, reform shops that have these uh, candy bars which are probably disgusting. I once had a gender cookie and there was actual ginger in there. <laughs> that wasn't very nice at all. But oh well. It does cut down on the uh, on eating candy I guess because uh, you know make it disgusting enough and you don't want it anymore and here's an, uh, another uh, candy which I actually needed because I got hit like stupid but yeah that's me oh I'm actually not doing too bad actually uh, well there's the next part of the level but I'm actually going for an extra life over here and probably get hit uh, about a million times in the process because there's another damn shark there so yeah it's not very hard to uh, imagine what this uh, level came from and that's probably the little mermaid which is a uh, fine little feature too get lost I hate those sharks so much Well, screw you. Didn't hit me for once. And we got the X life and still most of the life. Uh, but there's still another shark to go through. I don't think you can... Oh, wow! I actually can go through him without getting hit. Awesome! I pretty much always get hit by him. But, uh, you know. I guess wonders do happen in the world. So these uh, things just turn you back to them and they come at you like uh, little chompers and turn around again and they act like nothing uh, happened. And I say little chompers but uh, real Mr. Chomper will be uh, coming up soon <laughs> and I don't like him at all. Up here is nothing. If you want to see what's up there then check out Dan's uh, playthrough because that's actually the Donald route. But uh, we don't play as Donald, we play as Mickey, so we get to go over here. Well, Donald actually gets to go over here too at first, but uh, yeah, you'll just have to check out uh, Dan's videos to see what happens to Donald here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And let's go on to another uh, nice little section here. little cave area looks pretty nice I find uh, yeah you can come over here before I go have some spikes on my head because uh, Mickey doesn't like that he doesn't uh, wear a helmet he's all about the candy and uh, and the cake cake is even healthier yeah this part can be a bit tricky because those things uh, close up pretty quickly Kinda messed up there. Ah, uh, and I got hit. Whoa! Get off the spikes, Mickey. Those are not healthy at all. Oh. Almost jump uh, 
Well, not that it matter because I think it's safe down there actually. But uh, in here we have uh, some question mark bags, and it has a candy and a deck of cards, which is kind of a rare item, but it uh, makes you invincible for a short duration of uh, time. And I don't think we're actually gonna have much use for this one. By the time we'll find enemies, uh, it will be gone. And there we go. Just as we find the first things that can hit us. <laughs> and that's kind of problem with all the uh, invisibility uh, card decks in this game. I love how uh, Mickey jumps there in the bubble. <laughs> and these fish don't hurt you for some reason. But uh, that's good because uh, we are not trouble uh, as it was with those tiny sharks. Now it's time for the ship, which is uh, really atmospheric. I love the music in this uh, level, really sets the tone of the uh, ghost ship. Uh oh, whoa, that was close. Yeah, those floorboards aren't very sturdy and uh, they will drop you down, but uh, over here it's a good thing that it does that because it has an extra life and a cake. Sweet. I didn't actually know that uh, about this one. It was uh, Dan who actually uh, pointed that out to me, so thanks for that, man, Dan. Really cool. Uh, some of these will fall before you, and some of those will fall um, behind you, so it's just a matter of uh, knowing which is which there. And over here, there's another candy bar. Well, not bar, just a candy. And here are the sharks, which uh, just pop up out of the uh, floorboard and aren't very nice. I'm going here, so I can pretty much avoid them. Get lost. You too. Don't pop up uh, like that. That's not very nice. Yeah, I know... Uh, I kind of know this game by heart, so <laughs> I may make it seem like easy. It actually is a pretty easy game, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I kind of know it uh, fairly well. But it's just, I played it so much as a kid, and I loved it, and I still do. And there's the distortion again. Thanks a lot, uh, Mega Drive, for making my LP look like crap. Oh well. Uh, he's probably gonna saw me to bits here. Oh, just not. Okay. And here's Mr. Chomper himself. And uh, he's not a very nice uh, sharky. I really hate this boss because he's so unpredictable in his moves. Oh well, here he comes. Hey, Mr. Chomper. Please go away. And with away I mean uh, please die. And he will be jumping out of the uh, floor in just a moment. There we go. Look at that mouth. Yeah, and here's the part that's really annoying because it's really hard to time his... Uh, to time him there. There's probably... Uh, way to do that correctly but I don't know it uh oh ah crap shouldn't be hit there but oh well and we got another treasure chest with a new pretty useless spells <laughs> these magic great magical spells are pretty pathetic so far but oh well so uh, again, if you want to see the Donald route through this section, then check out Dan Central and he will guide you through that route. And uh, we'll probably do an awesome job of that. And it's pretty funny uh, to see Donald's route of this. Is it just me or all the, uh, the spells Alakazam? Hmm, oh well. Well guys, as we zoom off, I'll say goodbye and until next time when we go on to the next part. So until then, take care. Bye bye Mickey.